What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. So as you know, the Toyota Tundra comes in a lot of different variations, a lot of different trims with many different packages to choose from. Some buy their Tundra as a daily driver, some buy it to tow, go cross country, off road. There are a lot of different options out there as far as what you can do with your Toyota Tundra and a lot of different price points. One of the things I like to focus on when I talk about these trucks are the Tundras you don't see every day, but that can do things that we talk about all the time. For instance, I went to the Handy Toyota website, which as you know, if you've been around the channel a while, I like to go to their website. They always have a good amount of Tundras with a lot of different variations on there. And I found a Smoke Mesquite 1794 iForce Max 4x4. This is the Crew Max with the six and a half foot bed. Now that is ultimate capability. We've talked about that before. This does not have the TRD off-road package. This has the AVS suspension and the rear height adjustment load leveling system. All right, so if you're towing, it will keep your truck uh, nice and even so you don't have that big pull down in the back that a lot of trailers do or a lot of trucks do when they sag in the rear depending on the suspension. And that is what that is there for. So that makes this truck ultra special because very rarely do we see the big six and a half foot bed in this kind of a package without the TRD off-road. So let me show you this truck real quick from the website. As you can see, Smoke Mesquite is an amazing color. When the 1794 was introduced back in 2014, it was called Sunset Bronze, but it's the same thing. And it's just a good looking truck. Now, for capability reasons, we got the iForce Max engine, so we're gonna have the ultimate tow capacity. We're gonna have the ultimate, uh, you know, if you haul, you're gonna get a lot out of this truck with the bigger bed and the engine that is built for towing and power. You get the tow mirrors that are gonna complement that as well. Now, you can get an SR5 with the Crew Max cab and the big six and a half foot bed, but this one's gonna give you all of the options, including that AVS suspension and uh, the rear height leveling. This has the premium headlights on it. It doesn't have the TRD off-road package, so you're gonna get that big chrome grill in front. It's the hybrid engine. It has the 20 inch wheels on it and a more of a road worthy tire. It's just a beautiful truck, four by four of course. Now in this generation, I feel like they really did take a lot of uh, the massive chrome accents off of the truck. The grill obviously still has a lot of chrome on it, but down the side of the truck, there's chrome, but it just doesn't look like it's out of place. It really does go together nicely with the rest of the truck. And up there on the hood, you can see the iForce Max emblem. Now, when you get to the inside, dual zone automatic climate control, heated seats, ventilated seats, JBL sound system. This is in the saddle brown. It has the pano roof on it. It has everything. And that's the good part about, if you're the type of person that likes luxury features, the Platinum and the 1794 and Capstone, they're gonna give you pretty much everything you could possibly get in this truck. This has the 12 inch digital gauge cluster, the 14 inch screen. It's meant to do the job, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Western themed Tundra. Uh, so if you're someone who's gonna be taking your family on long distances and you got a lot of stuff to haul with you, if you're someone who likes the luxury of a pickup truck but you still gotta use it for work, you can put all the equipment in the back of the truck and still tow. And once again, you do have that bigger engine in this as well. And the bed looks good on the Crew Max cab. It's a lot longer than the other truck. This even has little small features that help you with your capability and with all of the little things you may use your truck for, especially if it's for work. This has the automatic bed step on it, as you can see uh, down right by the tailpipe there. And all you have to do is open the bed of the truck. You can push the button on the side of the tail light there and the tailgate will fall down and that step will come out. It also has the power steps uh, up by the doors as well. So this thing has a really nice package on it to give you all the luxury features, but still do all the work you may need it to do. Of all the trucks that are out there for the Tundra, this to me, and when I say this, I mean the Crew Max with the six and a half foot bed, is such a great package. And the owners have been asking for a long time for the Crew Max to have the six and a half foot bed. And last generation, it was just the five and a half foot bed with the Crew Max. I think this makes it ultra capable. That on top of the hybrid engine putting out big power and big torque, and once again, the engine is tuned for towing and for power delivery, I think that just makes it awesome. When you put a 1794-esque package on it with tow mirrors and power side steps and all of these little accoutrements, I think it becomes the ultimate pickup truck. Now, I'm a big TRD off-road package guy. I like what you do 
or, or what they do with the wheels, the suspension, everything like that. Uh, you know, when you add that kind of stuff. And in today's TRD off-road package, you get the locking rear diff, multi-terrain select, uh, downhill assist control. You get a lot of things like that with it. But when it comes to, if I was someone that was going to be towing a lot, I would want that, uh, you know, the load leveling height suspension, the AVS, all of that, to keep the ride as smooth as possible and to keep my suspension as even as possible. So to me, this is the ultimate truck here. Let's take a look at some of the pricing and the breakdown that is on the window sticker. And you can go down in the comments below and let me know what you think. Now, these Tundras are not cheap nowadays. We know that. But there is something I want to point out to you when we get through this sticker. Now, your standard equipment in the 1794, just like the Platinum, this thing is loaded up. You get pretty much everything. Toyota safety sense is on all Tundra. We talked about the JBL, the Pano, the genuine leather. Uh, you know, anything Toyota offers with their Tundra as far as luxury features is going to be in this truck. Now, your additions to the regular stuff that's always on it is that advanced package we were talking about for another $1,645, and that's the load leveling rear height control air suspension and the adaptive variable suspension, and you get the 10-inch color heads-up display. So you'll see a little information pop up in front of you. Uh, when you're looking out the window driving down the road, like your speed, the speed limit, stuff like that. This has the tow mirrors because with this kind of a package, you got to have the tow mirrors. And that is only $290 extra dollars. And it also has the power running boards and power bed step. The total price of this truck after the delivery charge, $72,115. $72,115 for ultimate capability when it comes to the new generation Tundra. The biggest bed, the biggest cab, the most features on it, the iForce Max engine, $72,000. So here's where I want you to go down in the comments and let me know what you think. The MSRP of a TRD Pro Say is right around $72,000. The black one I had was seventy-two dollars Now that's a sweet setup, a completely different direction with the Toyota Tundra, five and a half a bed Crew Max. Would you rather something like a TRD Pro that is set up for your off-road racing and has some excellent heritage look to it, including that Toyota grill on front? Or would you want something like this that is the ultimate when it comes to capability? Which is the bigger bang for your buck? 72 grand each, TRD Pro, or like this, fully loaded 1794, iForce Max with the six and a half foot bed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 at gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Be safe and be well.